Thomas Jefferson, the foremost author of the Declaration of Independence. This strong supporter of liberty was born in 1743 in Albemarle County, Virginia, and received 5,000 acres of land from his planter and surveyor father as well as high social position from his mother. He read law after completing his studies at the College of William and Mary. He moved Martha Wales Skelton, a widow, into his partially completed mountainside mansion, Monticello, in 1772 after they were married. Jefferson was a somewhat tall, ungainly man with freckles and sandy hair. He was a skilled correspondent but a poor public speaker. He supported the cause of freedom with his writing rather than his voice in the Continental Congress and the Virginia House of Burgesses. Jefferson, the silent member of the Congress, penned the Declaration of Independence when he was 33 years old. In 1786, he drafted a law ensuring religious freedom. In 1785, Jefferson took over from Benjamin Franklin as Minister to France. When Jefferson served as Secretary of State in President Washington's cabinet, his sympathies for the French Revolution caused him to clash with Alexander Hamilton. Two distinct parties, the Federalists and the Democratic Republicans, started to emerge as a result of the intense political strife. Jefferson gradually took over as head of the Republicans, who supported the French Revolution. He criticized Federalist principles, opposed a powerful centralized government, and supported state rights. In 1796 he became Vice President, through a flaw in the Constitution. In the 1800 election, Republican electors tied the vote between Jefferson and Aaron Burr in an effort to elect a president and vice president from their own party. The tie was broken by the House of Representatives. Despite loathing both Jefferson and Burr, Hamilton pushed for Jefferson to be elected. In 1800 he assumed the role of the presidency. He decreased spending on the Army and Navy, the budget, and the whiskey tax that was so despised in the West, all while reducing the national debt by a third. Additionally, he dispatched a naval unit to combat Barbary pirates that were interfering with American trade in the Mediterranean. Despite the fact that the Constitution did not include any provisions for the purchase of new territory, Jefferson overcame his concerns about constitutionality when he had the chance to buy the Louisiana Territory from Napoleon in 1803. Keeping the U.S. out of the Napoleonic conflicts became a major concern for Jefferson during his second term. After retiring to Monticello, Jefferson worked on ambitious initiatives including his plans for the University of Virginia. Thomas Jefferson passed away on July 4, 1826.